manifest as much as you want manifest the amount of money that you want manifest money as much as you want and manifest until you have no desire left to manifest any more money look at money like it's a free flowing river it's a river which flows infinitely and it just pours more coins more money more coins and more money it is abundant it is never ending it's always flowing freely there is no desperation for money because it flows freely in our society everybody has money and you my friend you are the richest person on this planet you own it you have all the money you wanted hey everyone welcome back to my channel this is isha rajput and for those who are new i talk about a law of assumption law of attraction and manifestation if you guys are interested in this i would love to have you here but today we are going to talk about manifesting money who doesn't loves money whenever we talk about money it brings a smile on our face sometimes we jump when we get money and money is an energy which flows freely around us even though if we cannot see it but there is money around us most of you guys must be desperately waiting for me to reveal the secret of manifesting money but i want you to understand one thing first when you desperately need something you attach a lot of meaning to it okay you attach a lot of emotions to it you're forced to do that you do it naturally suppose you are poor suppose hypothetically you cannot be poor because you are in this channel this means that you are on your way on your journey to manifest a lot of money so you cannot be poor but hypothetically speaking suppose if you are struck in poverty then you desperately want money right you are desperate but the frequency of money is abundance it's like having everything the frequency of the vibration of money is abundance and your vibration is desperation around money so these two won't match at all and you will end up not manifesting the money first of all you need to wash off that desperation you need to literally get away from this desperation because when you attach so much meaning to something which you want desperately you complicate the whole process of getting things done easily you literally complicate it yourself you literally become a blockage in your own way your way of thinking forms your identity around money the way you behave around money it forms your identity for example when you go in a very expensive restaurant like something like nobu's or something which is like literally 70 80 times more than you eat than what you eat in mcdonald's how do you behave how do you feel you feel a little awkward you know that you cannot afford it but still you go there anyway and you end up being shy and awkward you even hesitant uh, you are even hesitant in uh, calling the waiters or asking or pronouncing some dish name with very a french name which you are unable to pronounce and you end up being awkward and you go to home and you tell to yourself that oh i cannot afford this i'll never go at that place you feel that okay when you go into extreme riches if you really want to manifest money then you need to shift your programming about money you literally need to change the way you think about money and let me tell you one interesting fact most of your beliefs and the way you think about money actually stemmed from first 7 years of your life it's actually it's actually absorbed by you when you were in your theta state you were absorbing whatever the society and your parents and your surroundings were teaching you whatever you be, were being told whatever you were experiencing with money it was all from the first 7 years of your life as a child and when you will analyze that most of your belief around money are from those states you will understand how easy it is to change it as well you need to identify your red flags literally like as if you are dating money 
when you will date someone you literally look for green flags and red flags right similarly you have to look for your red flags around money okay just look for it like in simple things in simple things you'll find that you are so affected by your beliefs around money just analyze it just be aware when you think about money and now when you have noticed that what are the red flags of yours around money you can literally every time when you are about to think that same thought about money you can literally change it you can literally write a line like if you have uh, this uh, habit of saying that i cannot afford this i cannot afford that instead of saying that you can say that i can afford this all i need to do is just sit and relax and i'll get away and i'll find a way of affording this you can literally start step by step but you need to understand that you have to shift your programming in order to manifest large amounts of money and don't give relativity to money like don't be subjective like oh it's 1 rupee or it's 1000 rupees the the happiness when it gets to you is the same you should be grateful even if you find one coin or even if you find 1000 rupees don't give relativity to the money you need to understand that whatever you believed from first 7 years of your life is not true at all it's just your perspective and it's just your opinion it's an opinion created by the society and surroundings around you it was uh, literally stimuli it was like reacting to the situations which were around you so it's not at all true it's just your perspective okay there are people it's not like if you are middle class and there are other people who are middle class but they can still grow and it's not like that you cannot grow you can also grow but you have to understand that they shift this before shifting this so you need to shift this in order to get money don't hold victim mentality and expect to win don't do that you are never going to win if you have victim mentality it's literally a fact change your perspective about money and see it as a possibility see it as like it can come to you in different forms not only rupees but also in some other forms which are monetizable suppose it can come to you in a form of a bag it can come to you in a form of a dress it can come to you in a form of furniture it come it can come to you in form of food everything is monetizable right so it has different forms and it can come to you in any form all you have to do is widen your vision of visualizing money and see money in everything it's like you're blinded by money but not in a bad way in a good way be open to money be open and expect that money is coming to you expect it only when you expect something it comes to you you should have expectations okay but don't doubt don't have doubtful expectations you should be sure okay be open to manifest a lot of money be open to it and the faster you will shift your programming the quicker it will work for you now i'm going to share a radio lecture of navel godard who literally is the like god of all the philosophies and who invented law of assumption and i literally worship him and i will be sharing a radio lecture in his voice and i'll tell you a little activity through which you can do actually two activities through which you can manifest money like crazy the quicker you will remove your blockages the faster it will work for you but it can take time for like 2 weeks or 3 weeks if you do them consistently and i'll be sharing that in the end and uh, before that you can listen to this radio lecture brace yourself and do listen it with the help of a headphone so i'll see you after this money has an odor it's unlike any odor in the world it's more fragrant to the miser than the most marvelous perfume in the world he can tell it you put a money bag to his face and it's like putting roses to mine he loves it he can smell money he can feel it money has a distinct feel about it put a 20 dollar bill in your hand and ask you to feel it and then put another piece of paper in your hand and you can tell the difference there's a difference it is an odor to it all this is part of the inner man that all things are possible to him try it before you condemn it try it and if you have the evidence to support my claim 
Well, then it doesn't matter what the world will tell you. If he laughs at you, so what? So they laughed at everyone who had an idea that seemed a little bit off-center. Always laughed at him. They laughed at the idea of going to the moon. Well, now it's an accomplished fact. There are still those who won't believe it happened, you know, because they don't want to believe that it ever happened. There are those who said you couldn't go down and actually live underwater. Now we have a submarine. There are still those who won't believe it. You can present them with all the facts in the world, and they won't believe it. So I tell you, you try it first. And if it proves itself in performance, it doesn't really matter what the whole vast world thinks. Go about your father's business, which is yourself, and then live a full and wonderful life in this world of Caesar. And the day will come, you will actually depart this world. I mean this age. Because those who are departing it now, unless they are awakened, they still find themselves in a world just like this. But those who have awakened, who have experienced the second birth, the birth from above, find themselves in an entirely different age, where they're all imagination. And they are perfect. And wherever they go, everything is perfect. They don't have to raise a finger to make anything perfect, because they're perfect. All things must conform to them for their purpose. That's heaven. So heaven is not an area, it's not a realm, it's a body. And when that body is awakened within you, which is the wonderful human imagination, completely awake, then wherever you go clothed in that body that is completely awake, everything is perfect. If you found yourself in a forest of dead trees, They'd all burst into foliage. In the desert, they would all bloom like the rose. Because you are there. No blind man, deaf man, no handicapped man could stand in your presence. He would be instantly transformed into a perfect man because you are perfect. That's heaven. It's harmony. So it's not a place where you're going to go, pearly streets and all that nonsense. No. It's just simply you in a world that is perfect because you are perfect. And the day will come, you will awaken that body for it's in you now. That body is in you, but it's sound asleep. And one day you will experience the resurrection. And you'll know the mystery of the resurrection. When you rise, and you rise within yourself. For the grave in which Christ is buried, if the Lord is buried, is your own skull. That's where he's buried. And in that tomb where he is buried one day, he will awake and he will come out of that tomb. And it's you who comes out of the tomb. And you'll know who you are. He is buried in every child in the world. This universal being. And yet one. Billions of us, and yet only one Lord. And that one Lord, in his fullness, is buried in you, individually. And when you awaken, you are he. So tonight, take a go. Make it a lovely go. Either for yourself, or for another. For any time that you exercise your imagination lovingly, on behalf of another, you're mediating God to that other. So, bring a friend before your mind's eye. Represent him to yourself as the man or the woman that you would like them to be. And don't tell them, ask for no praise, just assume that they're talking to you and telling you the most marvelous news about themselves. And you congratulate them on that good news. And go your own way. Believe in the reality of that imaginal act. It may happen tomorrow. It may happen the day after, or a week later, or a month later. It has its own appointed hour, and it is ripening, and it's going to flower. So don't be concerned. Leave it alone, and it will come to pass. So this is what I mean by feeling is the secret. I catch the mood, the feeling that would be mine if I were what I want to be. I don't have to touch something, I can if I want to, but it's the mood I'm speaking of. 
What would the feeling be like if she were well? If she were this? And then you catch it, just as though it is true. You always go to the end, and the end is where you begin. We're always imagining ahead of our evidence. So go to the end, and feel the end, and then dwell in that end, even though reason denies it, and your senses deny it. You turn your back upon the doubters. That is your senses, and what reason dictates. That's the hell, or the devil, or Satan in the world. That's the doubter. So you turn your back upon it. And then you walk as though things were as you want them to be. And living in that assumption, it slowly hardens into fact. Even though at the moment of the assumption, it was denied by reason. An assumption, though false, if persisted in, will harden into fact. So you learn to assume and learn to persist in the assumption. And it will come to pass. Now let us go into the silence after which we'll have questions. Good. Well, I hope you call a good mood. It'll work. Now, are there any questions, please? Any questions? Yes, sir. Well, to answer your question, I must have go back and explain it to those who are here for the first time. No, 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 no. I make the statement based upon my own experience that nothing dies. And that's not only true of man, it's true of the flowers, of the animal world, of the trees, of everything. Nothing dies. I am the God of the living, not of the dead, so nothing dies. The little flower that blooms once, blooms forever. It's renewed by the seed of contemplative thought. Now that you have listened to this lecture, I am going to tell you those two activities, but I'm going to literally brief this radio lecture. When you literally hold money in your hand, by the touch, by the feeling of that money in your hand you can literally tell what is the difference between that money and a piece of paper it is literally different the feeling for holding both of them is different so all you have to do the briefing of this whole radio lecture is all you have to do is feel like it's already in your hand you are holding it when you count the money when you count the notes how does it feel feels nice right you can see how you can feel how crisp are the notes you can literally feel the freshness of the currency even the coins there's a difference between coin and literal metal now the two activities which I'm gonna share with you to manifest the amount of money that you want to manifest money that you want okay the first activity is subliminals literally there are thousands of videos thousands of channel which gives which every now and then upload a money activation video which can literally help you to manifest the money all you have to do is listen them for uh, like 10 minutes or 20 minutes maybe an hour it depends upon you 
and uh, literally manifest the money and see the results. I have done this. I have seen results with my own experience. It's a first hand experience and it's a foolproof method. And I'm 110% sure that if you did this for two weeks or three weeks, you are going to see results and you'll come back on this channel and you'll tell me, wow, Isha, I manifested this amount of money. It's going to work. I know because I have done this and it's my personal experience. All you have to do is be consistent for two weeks, two or three weeks. Depends upon how faster and how quicker you have removed your blockages. So I am going to link one of my favorite videos, which is about an hour long. All I do is do some work. And while doing that, I put on my headphones and listen to that for an hour every day. And you know what started happening in this beginning? Money started to show up in my life from unknown sources. I was like paying, I was not even paying for some things and all the things online were literally free for me. I'm gonna tell you my favorite video, which is linked down below and you can literally listen to it. Listen to it two, three weeks and come back to me, okay? And the second activity is while doing it, sometimes I used to count the money that is not in my hand. Like I used to count money. Like I'm counting a lakh rupees. So in lakhs, there are literally 200 notes of 500 rupees. So I literally used to count every day one lakh rupees, sitting and imagining and feeling how it feels to count so much money. And then I'll just roll the money and put a rubber band on it and put it in my pocket and that's how i manifested so much money and i am sharing this i have literally given you the power to use this and change your life like i did like people around me did so believe in it and do it let's take this as a two-week challenge and after that you are going to come back here and comment that how much you manifested Okay, that's all for today and you know how much I love you. So that's all for today and I'll see you in the next episode. Keep watching. Bye.